it's so nice to meet you. Uh, thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule to come and check out our all new 2022 Infiniti QX60, our third row luxury SUV. Uh, we were speaking on the phone a little bit and you let me know that you're an interior designer, right? I am, yeah. That is awesome. This vehicle is designed with the meaning behind it of elegance, confidence, and sophistication. I think as an interior designer, you're really gonna appreciate the styling behind this vehicle. And not only the styling, but you told me you had two kids. I think this vehicle is gonna have the perfect amount of functionality for you to just go through your everyday lives without having to ask. Moving over here at the front of the vehicle, I want to start with what this powers, this beautiful QX60. It's a 3.5 liter V6 engine. It is about 295 horsepower with 270 foot-pounds of torque. And that is powering a 9-speed all-gear transmission in this vehicle. What that has is actually, it's called an active torque mount in there, so it reduces the vibration on the outside of the vehicle to make less noise on the inside of the cabin. Yeah, it is. Uh, moving over here, I'll talk to you a little bit about the design of the vehicle. We're going to start Infinity with this iconic double arch grille with a big Infinity emblem right there in the middle. You got the waves coming out of it, kind of like that Tokyo inspired, that Japanese inspired waves of energy going through the back of the vehicle as well. Infinity did this nice stamping right here of the logo. Moving down low into the vehicle, you also notice down here, you can't see it right now until you're driving, but those are actually active. Um, shutter controls and so what that means is that when the vehicle wants more air coming in to give you more performance to the engine let's actually move just a little bit to get that in there okay. moving over here you can see these headlights this housing is phenomenal it wraps right around the side just a little bit these are full led headlights with your turn signals in there as well you got the chrome accents in here which actually if you look closely have these really really sweet geometric shapes in here that just really pop love that yeah Moving over here to the side, we'll start, you got the wheels right here. These are actually 20 inch wheels on this, oh sorry. We actually have 20 inch wheels right here on this autograph edition. So there's four uh, trim levels to this vehicle. You're gonna have your pier, your lux, your sensor, and your autograph. This vehicle right here is actually our beautiful moon bow blue with autograph edition. On your pier model, you'll get 18 inch wheels, which are still two-toned. When you jump to that lux sensory and autograph, you'll get the two-toned 20 inch wheels with different styling on there. You'll notice the beautiful moon chrome accents going right around the vehicle. And they don't cut off right here, which I really like, which makes the vehicle feel like it just keeps flowing and flowing. And you also notice those chrome accents come right down here. They got this katana style blading for that Japanese styling as well with the infinity stamped in there. Awesome little feature for that. A nice feature for when you're on about, maybe it's for work or you're with the kids and your hands are full, you actually get the comfort access on the vehicle, which means that no matter where you are in the vehicle or outside of the vehicle, if the key is on you or near you, all you have to do is put your hand in here and those doors are unlocked right away for you. Yeah. Now moving around the side of the, to the back of the vehicle, you actually notice before we hit the back, these beautiful piano key tail lights that wrap right around there. They light up right a light and they also make the statement while you're out on the road, let you know that you're there. You got this rear spoiler, which shows the sportiness and the aggressiveness of the vehicle. Coming down low, you got the Chrome Infinity emblem with some Chrome Infinity lettering right here. They added the, the button for the trunk right in here so that you can't see it, but it's actually very easy to access. Mm -hmm. Got a backup camera right there, and then they lowered the license plate so it doesn't mess with your form of functionality within the back of the vehicle. You got your tow hitch back there, which actually can tow up to about 6,000 pounds. You have the electrical units for it too to hook into. Your um, Acura MDX actually only tows about 5,000 pounds, so you get 1,000 more pounds with this vehicle. That's a lot. It is. It, can use them whenever you need to and then especially going up in the mountains of california when you guys go on those camping trips with the family this vehicle will do whatever you need to do got a lot a lot of noise <laughs> awesome are you ready to check out the inside let's do it all right let's go all right claire now jumping into the back of the qx60 you got that power lift gate open that up for you if you look right here you're actually going to get a trunk button to close this back up when you need to and there's also a lock button what that means is when you're done and you pack this up all you need to do is hit that button this will close and lock all the doors for you and you're able to just walk right away Looking at your third row, you get an amazing amount of space in here. I know it's a growing business and children getting bigger by the day. Ample space is a big deal for you, right? It really is. It is. All you need to do is lift this up and you get this secret little hidden storage. You it's can, huge. It is. It really is. What's nice about it too is it's plastic material, which if you get this dirty, you can just easily clean that. And they have some dividers in here that you could just put maybe beach towels, anything. Another cool feature is that you can fit almost 90% of strollers in this. Put okay. it right in there. Another nice thing, this stays up, does not mess with you, keeps your hands free, that you can just put whatever you want to, and then when you're done, all you need to do is do it. put that right there. The cargo space in the back of this vehicle, compared to your MDX, is actually greater. So you get more room back here to do whatever you need to do with the kids or your business daily. Putting these three row seats is as easy as this. All you need to do is pull this, headrest goes down, push that right back down there, and that goes down. Same thing for this side. Down, 
one click and then down. So now you have all that room to put anything in here. And you can also configure that half and half. Mm -hmm. Maybe you want to put something here, have enough room for the children to still get in the back as well. Mm -hmm. When you want to put those up in the back, a new feature that they added is just a one touch. You hit that one touch button, that'll bring that right up for you. Mm -hmm. Same thing with the other side, yep. You can actually take this headrest, bring this up, and boom. Now your third row is ready to go again. Super easy. Yeah. Now let's move to the second row and I'll show you what we got going on. All right, Claire, jumping into the second row of the QX60, an awesome feature about this is notice how much this door opens up. You have so much room to grab whatever you need to, moving in and out of the vehicle. It doesn't slow you down at all when you're on the move with the kids or maybe any items that you have from work, okay? Jump into the door right here. I wanna go a little bit over the detail. I'll go over it more when we get to the front two seats, but you'll notice this gorgeous saddle brown interior with the white stitching in here. I think the colors accent perfectly with the textured wood trim right here. And then if you notice, part of the 17 speaker Bose sound system, they integrated it perfectly into this door panel right here. Mm -hmm. And then if you notice, a little bit of more storage right there. You okay. can fit waters, drinks, Gatorades, even a 12 inch sub with no issue right in there. <laughs> yep. Now moving into the functionality of the second row seats. What's beautiful about these is they have about five, six inches of play to move forward and backward. They recline as well with that right there. And then the awesome feature, these are car seat friendly tilt. So what that means, one button right here, even if there isn't a car seat in here, but if there is, you can just hit that. The seat pops forward with the car seat in there. Pops forward without one in there as well. Gives you all this room to just jump into the back of the third row and do whatever you need to do back there. Kids jump back there, put their seat belts on and be able to move on with the day. All right. Now I'll actually jump back here and show you how much room I have back here. I'm 5'11", almost six foot, and I'll show you how much leg and head we got right here. All right, Claire, looking into the third row of the SUV, quite a bit of room, leg room, head room. I have almost three inches right above me with enough ample space to move around and be comfortable back here. Got cup holders for your kids, some USBs as well, so they can charge whatever they need to charge. And then if you also look above, one awesome feature of this car is that they put the vents above everybody so that everybody gets an equal design of airflow throughout the vehicle and everybody's comfortable. Now clear that I showed you the ease of accessibility with that one touch system from this from this seat right here and that seat as well. You got the captain's chairs right here. If we look over here, you got this kind of cup holder with storage. Awesome features. If you, if you pull this plastic piece right here, right off, you put your hand in here, this actually comes right out. Oh, wow. Yep. So if the kids put nachos in there, spill any <laughs> drinks, anything, all you need to do is pull this out, clean that up. Or even if you wanted the availability, maybe you got a dog at home and you want him to run in and out of the middle, you just put this in the back back there and you'll be able to move this in and out whenever you need to. All right. And then putting this back in is as easy as this. Right there. And then putting this cap right back on. Oh, wrong way. Clip that back on, now you're back there. Now, if we look over here, you got climate controls, okay? You got heated seats in the second board row for your passengers. Climate controls, adjusting those as well with your fan speed. You also have a 120 volt outlet right here. And then you have a USB and type C. So what that means, if the kids have iPads, phones, anything, all they need to do is tuck them into these nifty storage pockets right behind the driver and passenger seat. And they can charge those while hanging out back here, staying comfortable and being entertained. Very nice. Yeah. All right. If also, one of my favorite things about the car, if you look up, standard panoramic roofs. All right, Claire, now that you've sat in the QX60 for a couple seconds, what are your first impressions? The interior is beautiful and it's so comfortable. It really is. The handcrafted materials in here, along with the leather and the stitching, really complements the colors that go around the vehicle. This saddle brown interior is one of my favorites that complement the QX60. Mm -hmm. If you look over here, you see that dual stitching like we talked about. You got the seat settings to always operate that and keep it at whatever you need to when you get into the vehicle. Mm -hmm. Looking at that 17 speaker Bose sound system, this is one of them, integrated into the door panel. It fits perfectly. Don't you think the styling just meshes really well with the vehicle? It's really so smooth and awesome, integrated. Awesome. I'm going to jump on the other side of it and I'm going to show you a couple things inside, okay? Sounds good. One thing you'll notice before I sit down is one of my favorite, favorite little features that Infinity added on here. If you notice how this diamond stitching on the saddle brown interior actually gets bigger as it moves out from the seat. Mm -hmm. It was styling inspired by the Japanese, showing what a rock looks like when it hits the puddle and then ripples out into bigger waves. It does look like that, yeah. Yeah, and then moving up here, you actually see the autograph is actually engraved right into the seat. Beautiful. All right, Claire, now that we're sitting inside the 2022 Infinity QX60, what is your first impression on comfort inside the vehicle? It is incredibly comfortable. Is it? Awesome. One of the things I want to touch base on with you is actually looking over here at Infinity's new digital cluster display. Mm -hmm. It is super high res, 
gives you a speedometer right there. You got your RPMs on the left side. You can actually adjust those and customize those to show what you want to see on there mm -hmm. to make your drives just a little bit easier. You got the degrees up there as well with your temperature. And then you got some gas mileage range over there, what you got left. Um, another awesome feature is if you look above that in your windshield, you actually have the HUD display. Mm -hmm. You see that HUD display up there? I do, yes, right in the windshield. So what that do, will do is actually give you your speed limit. It'll give you turn by turn directions and it'll give you actually traffic traffic sign recognition, which will show you what the speed limit is adjusted to in that route right there. Okay. Yep. Makes it a lot easier for you to just drive around, not take your eyes off the road and stay focused on what your task mm -hmm. at hand is. Looking down at the steering wheel, it's beautiful leather wrapped steering wheel with mm -hmm. your stitching going all the way around it. You have your Pro Pilot Assist button right here with Intelligent Cruise Control and Distance Control Assist. With the Pro Pilot Assist system, when you turn that on, you actually notice that that goes right up there on side of your cluster. Mm -hmm. With your ICC, what you can do is go your desired, seat, a desired speed, whether it's 40 to 50 miles per hour, up to you. It'll follow the vehicle in front of you at a certain pace and it'll slow down to a complete stop if needed on a traffic jam on the highway. Wow, Older QX60 is actually held for three seconds. Now the stop and hold for the ICC on your new QX60 will be 30 seconds. Wow. So after 30 seconds, that's why I actually pick that back up. Okay. You also have the lane departure prevention, lane departure warning on the vehicle as well. Mm -hmm. And what that is, is when you're driving, it'll actually keep the vehicle. If it feels you swaying to one side, it'll lightly apply the brakes on one side and bring you back to the middle of the vehicle. Okay. Lane departure warning will actually warn you with a visual display on your digital cluster letting you know, hey, looks like you're leaving a lane. Mm -hmm. Blind spot monitoring in this car is actually on the outside mirrors. Mm -hmm. So you can see those. Those will be illuminated with an amber color mm -hmm. if you do have somebody in your blind spot. All right, Claire. Now looking over here, you're going to have this 12.3 inch touchscreen going throughout everything with your navigation, settings, showing you maps. You can look at weather on here. And this will actually be where your Apple CarPlay, wireless Apple CarPlay is displayed on here. Mm -hmm. So your wireless Apple CarPlay could be used through here. You can actually use the steering wheel to activate your Siri and move around there. One of my favorite features on the QX60 is if you actually hit that menu button, go to your settings right there, move over and go to your seats, your seat and my seat is actually massaging. Amazing. Yep, so you can turn that on with the click of a button. You also have a button on the side of your seat as well. You can move through refreshing, relaxing, or your lumbar support right there. Let me go back right here, I'll hit that map button. One cool feature if you look up, normal, backup camera, all right? Oh, wow. Normal. Uh -huh. I flipped that right there. Now you get a digital uh -huh. rearview wow. rear mirror. Your MDX will not have that. No, it doesn't. Will not. <laughs> and then we also have the Infinity Home Link system set up in there as well. Okay. Going back down into here, you're going to jump into this high gloss dual climate control. This is actually capacitive touch with a haptic control. So when you touch this, it's a touch screen, but you also get this little vibration uh -huh. letting you know that you did press something. You're going to have your ventilated seats, heated seats. You're going to have your heated steering wheel right on there as well. Mm -hmm. You can have your AC on off. You can mess with all your dual climate controls on my side or your side as well. You got a power and volume button right there as well. Mm -hmm. Moving down here, you're going to jump into this. You got D mode right here. You flip that D mode, it'll actually pop up right on your screen showing mm -hmm. you eco, auto, sport, personal, or snow. Mm -hmm. So what those are is during any day, specific driving conditions, you can flip those at the touch of a button. And you can go into snow mode, which will actually lower your throttle response time, make it a little bit easier in the snow, less likely to spin the wheels. I doubt you're gonna see any in California, but I don't know if you're I going up not. to the mountains, right? <laughs> you got sport mode, which will actually boost up that throttle response time, stiffen up the suspension a little bit, so you can go around those quarters a little bit tighter. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. You also have the auto sensing range to windshield wipers right there. Moving back down into your electronic shift knob. What that does is being an electronic shift knob, it actually gives you a lot of room right under here to add mm -hmm. whatever you need to, so you get ample storage space down here as well. All right, mm -hmm. got these amazing cup holders. Another awesome new feature that Infinity added on this vehicle, wireless charging to the phones. Amazing. Yep, all you need to do is put that wireless charging right there, your phone will wireless charge if it's compatible. Mm -hmm. All right, jumping right in here, we get some more room in here. Got a USB and then a normal plug for your vehicles right here to charge whatever you need to charge. Okay. All right. A feature of the Infinity QX60 that you can download on your phone is actually called the Infinity InTouch app. And what that does for the 2022 Infinity QX60 is gives you availability to unlock the doors, lock the doors, start the car from your phone, or even when the kids get a little bit older and you still got the QX60, you can put a speed monitor on there. So if they go over 60 miles per hour, you actually get a text sent to your phone letting you know that they went over that speed limit. Wow. Yeah, it is. Um, mm -hmm. A couple of the things that I really think that this will make a perfect fit for you at home is that this vehicle has the rear seatbelt reminder, which the MDX does not have. Mm -hmm. This vehicle also has available blind spot intervention in it, which the MDX does not have. Predictive forward collision warning and the available moving object detection. Mm -hmm. 
then you also get that better horse mo uh, better horsepower and you get the better torque mm -hmm. to your mirror and then you get ample cargo space in the vehicle to move around like you should going into the price point of the vehicle speaking about a couple things like the price compared to the mdx mm -hmm. the qx60 and the mdx are very close in pricing mm -hmm. from about forty eight thousand dollars to your lower trim levels to about sixty four thousand dollars so mm -hmm. your pure model you got the lux model the sensory and the autograph mm -hmm. one of the things i wanted to touch base on was actually infinity's warranty our basic warranty is four years sixty thousand miles your Acura MDX is actually four year, 50,000 miles. Okay. Yep. Looking at the powertrain, Infinity's is six, six year, 70,000 mile power warranty or powertrain warranty on this mm -hmm. vehicle. All right. One cool feature that we can use is actually called iCar X. And what that is, is me and you can sit down together. We can go over trim options. We can go over colors throughout the whole entire app mm -hmm. and you can pick and customize this vehicle to fit you perfectly for your everyday needs. Amazing. It is. In my opinion, the amount of extra features and availability with functionality and your ample space in this vehicle, I think that makes the QX60 an awesome choice for you. What do you think? You know, you've sold me. <laughs> All right. Are you ready to go on a drive? Let's do it. 